Imagine a world. Hello and welcome back to more You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. Binge Pipe is almost free of the curse by presenting You Don't Know Jack. What curse? Binge Pipe. The earth is flat. No. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm not here to replace your dad. I'm just here to read some trivia questions. Okay, buddy? Good. Right, solo? I like it. No one else to drag you down. Okay, then, why wait any longer? Time for question one. First on the docket, Frasier, I hardly knew her. Kelsey Grammer was the subject of the show Frasier. Grammatically, in which of the following is Kelsey Grammer the subject of the sentence? I am on a camping trip with Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer's knife goes missing from the tent. Kelsey Grammer rips the tent to shreds, screaming my name in anguish. Or I am being hunted by Kelsey Grammer. Okay, let's take a look. The subject is the thing or person in the sentence that is doing the verb. Kelsey Grammer hunts me. Kelsey Grammer chases me. Kelsey Grammer is being my king of nightmares. You get the picture. You have an obsession with whoever that is. How about this one? Is that a gyroid in your pocket? Nope. Which Animal Crossing character would not be able to store the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in its own pocket? Alice the Koala, Leaf the Sloth, Marcy the Kangaroo, or Pascal the Otter? Do Sloth... No? Hope you like what you picked. Sloths don't have pockets or pouches. Yeah. They're also really slow to return your friend request. <laughs> And if you go by the ones in frickin' um Oh here's a good one. The movie. I hear the blues a calling, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's a type of salad or a type of omelet or egg dish. Think okay. fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between tossed salad or scrambled eggs. Okay, let's do it. Cobb. Denver. Gato Gato. Cobb. Tortilla Española. Tamagoyaki. Niswaz. So. I have absolutely no idea about any of those except for the one that already had like the Spanish thing, uh, tortilla in the name that was obvious. And tamagoyaki is Japanese fried egg, but. I call this one, that puma just ate Tyra. Imagine an unfortunate typo leads NBC to produce America's Got Talent. Never heard of the other stuff. Celebrity judges fight off a series of clawed animals. Which scenario would we never see? Seal fending off a seal, Howie Mandel besieged by parrots, Simon Cowell punching an orangutan, or Heidi Klum headbutting a koala. Don't think orangutans have fangs. And how do we do? Orangutans have adorable fingers, but no claws. So you will never see Simon punching one of them, but I have to admit oh, nice. it's really easy to picture. Claws. Talent. Whatever. Behold, just the scrambled eggs for me. What's if with your Nile scrambled egg? Crane becomes Nile Crane, how far will he stretch? From Seattle to Portland, from Seattle to Kansas City, from Seattle to Washington, D.C., or from Seattle to Caracas, Venezuela? Fuck if I know? Uh... Venezuela? I love this part. The Nile River is about 4,258 miles long, which means Niles can lie down in Seattle and reach a little beyond Caracas if he wants to. It's kind of weird we've had two Fraser questions. I thought we had an algorithm to stop repeats like that. Well, weird glitches happen sometimes, I guess. 
Round one is officially behind us. Also had two oh, scrambled egg uh, questions, kind of. are worth twice as much in round two. Okay, back at it. Six trombones is not a parade. Up next. You're so Bane, you probably think this question's about you. If Bane from The Dark Knight Rises hooks his signature mask up to a CPAP machine, what would he say before turning it on? Vape life, Batman. It's for my sleep apnea. Time for a little aromatherapy. Or stupid polio. Uh. So what'd you pick? A CPAP machine provides airflow for people who suffer from sleep apnea. I don't mind admitting I use one, and it allowed me to sleep soundly what? through most of the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> I'd sleep soundly through any superhero movie. There is no hiding from Shattered by the Power of Love. And oh boy, oh no. but zit slime chore. It's time for a <sighs> Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, here it comes. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what classic expression it rhymes with. Care Bears broke Claire's liar and pay no attention to that punctuation. Just check for the signs. Uh. To see if things are heating up. Oh. Uh. Let's make sense of this, shall we? Okay. Okay, let's move along. That hardly rhymes, but okay. Here's one I like to call. I like when she tore him a new one. Say Frazier's ex-wife Lilith acted like her namesake in Hebrew theology. Oh, come on, another Frazier question? All right, keep it together, Cookie. <clears throat> What might she do in a very special episode? Steal Daphne's baby, set Eddie's heart on fire, devour Frasier after sex, or turn Bulldog into an actual Bulldog? Lilith. Okay, what'd you pick? Sucks to be you. Bang it. It was this one all along. Lilith was Fuck if Adam's I know. first wife who went on to become a child-stealing demon. Okay, let me let me read this punchline. That's right. Child stealing like demon. Okay. Eve was just a I know Lilith okay, is a I demon. We hired but... some younger writers for this game. Why are all these questions about Frasier? This feels like volume one. <laughs> yeah, because I have absolutely no fucking idea what Frasier is, by the way. Why not try? I have been informed that Frasier is apparently very popular with millennials. I still feel like I'm being pranked by some of the elderly writers on staff, but anyway. No, it isn't. Dr. Frasier Crane greet callers on his radio show if he wished to welcome them and follow the first step of the scientific method. Go ahead, caller, I'm predicting. Go ahead, caller, I'm experimenting. Go ahead, caller, I'm hypothesizing. Or go ahead, caller, I'm observing. Uh, hypothesize? Let's see how that shook out. You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Predict. This was the one. The first Absur step of the scientific method is observing the natural world and asking a question that you wish to answer. <laughs> Let's try... Okay, let's get this over with. If Frasier is the Odyssey, what is Cheers? Oedipus Rex, the Iliad, Electra, or the Persians? I have no fucking idea. Okay, what'd you pick? The Iliad comes before the Odyssey, much like Cheers comes before Frasier. Well, now that we're almost done, all the writers can go home and go back to binge watching Frasier. Oh. <laughs>
What the fuck is Fraser? We literally never heard of that. Oh, was I talking? Yeah. Here's your clue. You are here. I hope you know where everything took place. Good luck. <laughs> Probably not. I have no earthly idea. <laughs> Frasia probably. <laughs> Above the equator. Uh, the sinking of the Titanic. The... Uh, are you literally gonna have Frasia be an answer for this every time? In the US. Uh, Lila and Stitch was Hawaii, so technically, yes, I guess. But I don't know. Mount St. Helens erupted. <sighs> yep. In Seattle. Fuck if I know. I'm gonna assume fucking Frasier. I have no fucking idea. Of the length of now. Yep. There's your score. Congratulations, you played yourself and you won. You don't know this because you have no one to compare it to, but this is a very average score. Which reminds me... You don't know Jack! And I will see you in the next one. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WWD Deadman. Bye.